Just the intimidating mass and the size, the monstrous power and the muscle of Tough Guy. Have all together the is one. Of Scar. Scar has lost a significant amount of weight. He looks amazing. Six feet, six inches tall. A 300 pound, very, very intimidating sight. On one side, with the Beast, who in many people's estimations is one of the most hated individuals in the all the, the Rumble for the Kids series. And Be then, vile. what Brian, do you mean? Brian James from St. Louis, Missouri, the bomb. An outstanding athlete. It takes five Brian James equal a quarter beats. Well, I, I don't even think the Beast even agreed to a weigh-in this, this evening, did he? I don't even know. To deal with the dance lights off. of this alliance. I call dance off, Steve. Antonelli, a huge fan favorite in the Rumble for the Kids series. He's riding they a they huge the beast is winning home. streak. Well, the Beast is from parts They're unknown. Make them angry. There were rumors that the Beast had ties with some individuals in the Middle East and parts of the Sudan. So I let that. Rumors are facts. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't have the exact, uh, uh, um, I don't have all the intricate details, Daquan Avic. What I know is that this is a big team against a team that's got to use a lot of quickness. That's a team. Now, you're talking about a mismatch here. I know Antonelli in the past has gone to war with the Monster Scar in the Gladiator Battle Royale series, and he's won Battle Royales before. But the Beast, he's put together. I know that he's not exactly the physical specimen that Antonelli is, but... Oh, he's definitely a physical specimen. Look at the dwarfing size of Beast in comparison to Antonelli. He manhandled him into his corner, Steve. It's like having a school bus against the... Uh, what is it? Megan and Brian James. What do you call those uh, mini Kias? Are you familiar with your cars there, Daquan Abbey? I am, but not with the mini Kia. How about a mini Chevrolet? Yeah. Unique matchup, first time ever. Rumble for the Kids Series. Two of the best in terms of cruiserweight wrestling. Brian James is put together, and he muscles down the Italian Wars Anthony, Anthony Antonelli. And this is a very difficult test for Antonelli here tonight. Two very impactful forces going head to head right now as we got Brian James taking on Anthony Antonelli. Here we go with the tie-up. Antonelli with that background in football. And the crowd erupts in a positive response to that. Antonelli, a multiple sport athlete. Such a tremendous athlete, a competitor. Wrestling and football, right you are. Great skill in the ring, so impressive. He's a physical specimen, but this Brian James is really put together. First rumble for the kid's appearance, a vicious striker, great chops, elbows, and he can go all out against you. And when he drops that bomb on you, man, he will laugh in your face and talk about all the pain that you experienced at his expense. He knows he's good, and he smiles and tells everyone else about it. About Brian James. This guy's got an ego. Daquan Avid. This Brian James in yellow and with black trim, he is not wrong is to serious. have the ego in this, in this generation of wrestling, Steve. The monster scar is a brawler. So vicious, so intimidating, and scary, and the kids are not happy about this. Their hero is being destroyed and mutilated at the hands of Scar. Scar is the new mask, if you notice, Steve. One of the most powerful big men, mean and frustrating, vicious. He hits so hard, he creates such havoc, he can cause such disruption everywhere he goes. Several appearances before he rumbled for the kids, but this one means a lot to him. He missed the avalanche of the cougar. The man from Mexico. Ole. Missouri is in the Mexico, ring. Missouri. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it myself. 
all the reversal that Scar has squashed all the hopes and dreams of all those with the heritage. We can only hope that the spicy pepper comes out and helps Jose Magnifico. Well, I mean, you all know what happened when Jose El Magnifico's been in the ring in the past in these Rumble for the Kids series, right? Somebody, somewhere, is going to have a pinata knocked on their head, and it's going to be candy for every kid. Oh, no! The avalanche, the behind of the beast, smothered the head of Jose El Magnifico, he and he might have squashed him like a grape. It's beast mania here when the pretty kids right now, Steve. Plainly trying to choke him down in the corner. Oh, he's not trying. He's doing. And he's shouting in Spanish and in all sorts of other growing... No me gusta, no me gusta. Yeah, he doesn't like it. No si se puede. He is wishing that he never even agreed to this. Who on earth put Jose El Magnifico in a tag bout against the Beast? That's what I want to know. Woo! Jose El Magnifico manages to muscle swing back. What is he grabbing for? He, he, just, twist. he twisted his back. He twisted him. One clockwise, one counterclockwise. The star spangled saint throwing a vicious stream of right hands, Do which have stolen the beast. But can he knock him down? No way. Elbow through the heart of the star spangled saint. All oh, the devastation. It looks like they've angered the beast. Oh, there's a war going down here. It looks like he's going to become a star spangled crescent. No, not this. Oh. He squashed him. That's going to be it. Oh, he got the shoulder up. How on earth? For America. How do you get squashed by a piano and still want to fight on? You keep the heart of America in your soul, Steve. Huge slams for the United States of America. You can't bully The America. patriotism of these fans. We've got hundreds on end. Oh, pleading for the Star Spangled Saint to get back to his feet. He's going to be out for the count, but Jose Magnifico log rolled him the over to the other corner. The strongest in the ring, Jose Magnifico, Steve. Well, if he interferes like that again to break up a count, Jimmy Smoot might have to disqualify him. Watch out. Three hundred pound leg drop across oh, the neck of the throat. Even after the elbow two. drop. And somehow he got the shoulder up he again. for America. Well, you can do it for America. You can do it for your friends, your neighbors, your relatives. But if you're up against these odds, you don't stand a chance, Daquan Avic. Who are we kidding? Oh, man. It gets from bad to worse. Tagging by Brian James. For the underdogs in this one. And the beast is lurking in the corner. As if Brian James needs any help at this point. Moshe's toss to corner. He Last he hurt himself. Star Spangled Saint. Oh Hits the man! To the, face. the Star Spangled Saint was so disoriented from the damage Jason that he no suffered board. earlier, he couldn't recover in time, and he took a fall he to the outside. It. He said, "Oh, say. oh wow! Make a wish! Oh, beautiful!" Did P.S. Blaze say that was okay? Brian James has been violated. Our dishonorable judge is not happy. And neither is Mr. Knight on the outside. Kicking the legs from out under him. Daquan Abbott, he's got to make the tag. What's he waiting for? He feels like he's got America behind him, Steve. Just because you have America oh, behind you doesn't mean you can't use your friends. They're French. Oh, oh. wow. Atomic drop. Head first to the top. Go up the pack. Close line. He knocked him Two. inside out, and Brian James gets the shoulder up. What a turn of events. Uh, Steve, why is Beast in the ring? One of the most exciting parts of the Rumble for the Kids series is the fact that we have constant, constant tags, six-man tag team bouts, multiple man bouts, and that's what makes all this action so exciting. Because at any moment, uh -oh. something huge could happen. It looks like Scar's going for it. Choke slam! That's it! Jose El Magnifico is going to be down and out, and Antonelli breaks it up this time. I don't know how much more 
Jose El Magnifico can take that choke slam uh -oh. when you get dropped uh -oh. from that height. Hold on, Steve. It, Eight it feet in serious. the air. What's Bates doing in the ring? Uh oh, he just tackled the Scar. Scar's out. It's now three on two. The Beast can't believe it. He's in shock. Lucha rules. It's not Lucha Libre rules, is it? Or is it because Jose El Magnifico's in the ring? Was a tag made there? I, I'm under the impression Beast was the illegal man. Scar is the legal man. Right so right, Steve. Now everyone's puzzled as to how the action can continue. And Brian James is ready to fight Antonelli. Where's the clothesline? And again. Dropkick. One of the most electrifying drop kicks in all of the Rumble for the Kids series. Antonelli needs partners. He needs backup. Back doesn't work. Star what Spangled Saint. That was a Star Spangled mistake, Steve. And his old partner Antonelli with a clothesline. Antonelli can't possibly win if he's on the floor. Cadence Kelly very concerned, and so is Uncle Sam. Is that Uncle Sam? Who is that? What a fish is that your boy. Uncle Sam, not my Uncle Sam. No, don't do it. Oh, no. The falling backsplash. No one's up. No one can save him. Beast on top. And that's it. Beast scarred. And James win it. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. Brian James, the monster star, and the wild man, the Beast. for the kids' events, and Magnifico, Star Spangled Saint, were unsuccessful. They couldn't even use the pinata. It was too much. And now we saw the results.